Peter DIT, EIT, or Unitech? Your expert opinion, please. As I keep saying, both are uh, good institutions. Both are owned and operated by the government of New Zealand. Some of you might have come across recent, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, news that Unitech was in a little bit of uh, management trouble, but you know, it's a government department, so it'll blow over, and I'm, I'm sure it will all get sorted. But um, uh, should I suggest EIT or Unitech? I would recommend, Ravi, that you look at the papers in both the courses, see which paper uh, kind of resonates with you more. In terms of location, EIT, well, if you're going to Napier campus, you'll have the advantage that you're outside Auckland, so if you find a job there, eventually um, you will get 30 points more for your residency. So that's the advantage of being in Napier. Cost of living is lower than Auckland. It's a beautiful city. I've been there a couple of times. So it's definitely a fantastic city. EIT has got a great campus. Helen, the international manager, is a very dear friend. And so she and her team are fantastic. So they'll take care of you guys. Uh, versus Unitech, which is in Auckland. So more opportunities, but higher cost of living. You don't get that full, uh, you know, Kiwi kind of uh, feel because it's a very cosmopolitan city and that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of throwing the ball back at you, saying you take a call and if I had to study though, I would have chosen uh, to EIT because that's my personality. I like quieter towns and that's why I don't live in Auckland. I live in Hamilton and I like that peace and quiet. And I'm also super confident about my abilities. And I know that uh, Napier may not have as many opportunities as uh, Auckland is, but I know I have the abilities to find that one job that I need, whether it is Napier or Hamilton or Auckland or Fungare or doesn't matter whichever place. So if you are confident about your abilities and you think, yeah, I can go study and crack this thing, go to um, uh, Napier.